Hello and welcome to Dr. Red Frizzle here again and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about plant hormones. So there is plant hormones. Now this whole idea of plant hormones, a hormone is a chemical messenger. Um chemical messenger. And it's used to bring about a number of, of effects in a particular plant. So we've got this whole idea of tropism here. Now tropism is a response to a particular hormone, so it, it might be positive or negative. What this means is is, is positive tropism. It, it is, it's where something actually grows towards the stimulus. So we could have towards light. So light could be the stimulus here, which basically is a change in the environment. So it might have got lighter, for example, which causes pro positive tropism in the shoots. So this is our plant with some leaves and stuff. This positive tropism means that the plant will grow this in this direction towards the, the light source. Um, we also have, have examples of negative tropism, but these are mostly shown in our root systems because it actually grows away from the light. So they grow downwards. And, and there's particular types of... So this is called... So to the type of stimulus is known as gravity, okay? Um, so, so this whole idea is called gravitropism, I believe, um, which is where it actually responds to, to gravity in a negative way. Um, obviously, uh, uh, the other type is light, which is known as phototropism, um, because it responds to the light in a particular way. What we also have is we have these things called auxins, in, or auxins, I don't know how you're supposed to say that, in plants, which is which are mostly plant hormones which are found in the shoots and roots. What this means is, supposing you, your plant has a high concentration of auxin, auxins in the, in the shoot tip, for example, what, the, what this will result in is it will result in the plant actually growing more and to, more towards the light. So in the presence of this hormone, this tropism, the effects of it will take place. Um, and the same goes for roots, but it's the complete opposite. So supposing there's a high concentration of auxin in this root here on the left, um, what that'll mean is this is the growth rate uh, of this root will slow down because it'll mean it's darker because the auxins are in high high concentrations in the darker part. Supposing this bit for some reason was, say it's the ground goes like this, this bit was a bit deeper down, it would be darker. Um, so it was darker, which which will result in this bit growing slower than this bit here. Whereas this root, as it's closer, it will be lighter, so it will have a lower concentration of auxin, which will mean that this root would grow faster. Um, right, so that's the general idea of plant hormones and how they work. But right, right now, now we've sort of understood how they work. What what people can do is, is they can take this idea further and they can use it to actually reduce the growth of plants. Right, so so supposing you get a a, a weed killer. Oh, you, you'd want your weed killer to actually reduce the growth, so you want it to create a, um, less positive and negative tropism. You wouldn't want the plant to grow properly. So, so this is the sort of same principle that weed killers use, like, like when the when the weed killer, well, when the weed killer factories that, that are produce weed killer are actually making it um, and manufacturing it, they they don't want their weed killer not to work. So, so they they sort of consider these ideas of tropism in in what ingredients and what chemicals they're going to use in their weed killers. Um, another example is rooting powder. Now, the reason why it's important in rooting powder is because um, cuttings is a way of cloning plants. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the term cloning. All cloning means is cloning is, is essentially where you copy something and, and, it, and it has the exact same genetic information as the original. So, so in terms of rooting powder and cuttings, like, like suppose you've taken cuttings from a particular plant, and you want that that cutting that you've taken, like that like it might be a bit of a stem, but it might only have a little tiny bit of a root. Well, what this rooting powder will do is it will is it will rapidly increase the the rate of growth of the roots on that particular cutting you've taken. So supposing the cuttings like this, it will rapidly increase these these growth networks in these roots. So you end up with your flower, whatever it is, growing much more quickly from the cutting you've taken. So supposing you've taken that bit of a cutting, um, planted that that bit, this rooting powder, you just apply it, so label this here, um, 
RP for rooting powder. So what that will do is that will enable these roots to, to develop more quickly um, and become deeper and grow back into the, exactly the same flower as you had originally. And that's this whole idea of cloning. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful and I hope it sort of enlightens you a bit more about plant hormones. I, I also wanted to mention about like, something that I forgot to mention in my last video, which is I was talking about, about the human side of it. It's the same sort of principle and it's to do with this whole idea of like maintaining this whole idea of homeostasis and maintaining maintaining a constant internal environment um, is what is the general theme of the video. What I want to discuss with you about that is there's these things called fertility treatments. Now fertility treatments is where you've given particular hormones in tablet form. So I mentioned in my last video the idea of FSH and LH. Now FSH is follicle stimulating hormone, LH is luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing means releasing, follicle stimulating, stimulating the follicle, stimulating the cell to actually mature in the ovaries. So the whole idea of this is you, is you take a particular pill or tablet and it increases your FSH and LH levels. So, so for example, supposing you had a problem, supposing that, that the woman wanted IVF treatment, which is what this is called, as they wanted IVF treatment to increase their fertility, they might get given some of this FSH to help mature the egg um, in, in a lot of pill form. And, and I don't know if you've heard of the morning after pill, but, but this uses the same principle. So supposing you've taken your morning after pill, what that will do is, is it will stimulate the rates of LH to increase, which, which will mean that, that your egg will be released faster and, and because it's not matured properly, you'll just have a period and then the baby won't actually end up developing. Um, so this whole idea of fertility and IVF is along the same principles as this, really, because it's the same sort of principles in terms of the, the plant hormones and the auxins are just hormones which are the same as FSH and LH. So that, that, that's, that's how this sort of ties into the human side of it as well. Um, the, the other thing I'd like to mention is that IVF, um, there's a few ethical issues with it. Certain people don't actually like the whole idea of IVF. They don't believe that, that people should be able to take these tablets because what some people do it, it, is some people who take the tablets might might want a child that's free of disease and stuff. So they might say, well, well can you take out this particular gene and can you genetically modify my child so that it's sort of perfect in a sense? And and a lot of people like disagree with this because obviously it's it's not natural and uh, and it, it, it is controversial because certain people like believe certain people like I believe that you should be allowed to do that, and other people like believe you, that you shouldn't. Um, so I don't really want to go into much of an ethical debate today, um, but this whole idea of ethics is what has to be considered quite a lot in biology when implementing ideas of fertility treatments such as IVF. Um, so that's what I wanted to mention with you. Um, right, so I hope, hope this video has been helpful, um, and hope it enlightens you a bit more about plant hormones and how, and how it responds to tropism and stuff like that. So, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.